Hi everyone, it's great to see you. Yesterday was an exciting day because my in-laws brought this beautiful espalier pear tree over here as an anniversary gift for Dan and I. And I am so excited we get to plant it today. So an espalier tree is made so that is made, is shaped so that it has a strong center stem and then they take the branches and they prune them and bend them so that they grow parallel to that initial trunk. And it gives it a really, really unique look. It's also pruned nice and flat. So usually you put this against a trellis or a fence or the side of your house. And this particular pear tree will get to be about 12 to 15 feet tall if left to grow on its own. I'm actually gonna prune it pretty hard each year, so I'm gonna keep it smaller, but it is going to be a great addition to the new side garden. So there are three different types of pears grafted here. We have a Bartlett pear on the top, and then this is a Bosque pear for the center and a red Bartlett down for the bottom. Now it's self-pollinating, but actually they find when you have a grafted tree like this, it produces more fruit than just having one type of pear, which I think is fascinating. So it blooms and it's already at the end of its bloom time here and every place that it blooms, that's where you can get a pear, which is really very, very cool. Usually it takes about three years to get your first harvest here, and this particular tree should be ready to harvest, so if we're lucky, we'll get pears this year. We will have to see. Now I am trying something. Um, I am going to grow this pear tree in a very large pot, and I'm doing that for a couple reasons. The main reason is I'm honestly not quite sure if we're going to have enough sun where we are putting it, and a pear tree really likes full sun. Full sun is at least six hours of sun a day. We're sort of like right on the border there, but I'm, I'm gonna give it a try and we're going to see. But by keeping it in a pot, it does give us the flexibility to perhaps relocate it if we have to. So let's get this beautiful tree planted up. Let me tell you what I went through to prepare to plant this pear tree in the pot. So the first thing I needed was a pot that was going to be big enough that I felt matched what I already had in the garden. And last year I had planted a dwarf ginkgo tree in a pot. So I decided to use the same process that I did with that particular pot. So the first thing I did was I ordered the pot. Now I choose resin pots because then I don't have to worry about them cracking during the winter and they're also lightweight so even just managing to get the pot around to where it needs to be some of those ceramic pots are so heavy and a resin pot just really is helpful to me so I ordered one from plant addicts it's called the Brunello planter I will link it below and I ordered the 27 inch diameter pot this planter only came in colors that I really didn't want. So I ordered the one in rust. It was closest to the dark brown color that my smaller pots are in and I spray painted it. So I spray painted the one that the ginkgo tree is in too and it had worked so well for me. It's already been outside through the weather for this is going on its second year now. It's doing fabulous. So I use the same type of spray paint. I'll also link that below for you and then let it dry for a couple days. Really had to make sure that I had the pot on hand, that I was ready to move the pear tree into it and you want something you're going to like because this this is a tree that's going to be there for a number of years. So it's worth putting in the extra effort to really make sure that your tree is going to be in a place that not only the tree likes, but that you like also. This is such a beautiful time of year. We are finally getting some warm weather and you can just see everything coming to life. The leaves have that bright color and it is just so exciting to see the garden emerging after a long winter. Doesn't this look fabulous? I love this. It just gives some height and the chartreuse leaves 
are so springy to me, just beautiful and bright. So a couple things I want to point out to you. One is that I did use garden soil in here instead of a potting mix. So a potting mix is not actually soil, and since this is going to be supporting a tree for many years, I am using actual soil in here. It also will help with the moisture. You would think that a potting mix would be great for this, but apparently from everything I have read, soil is the way to go if you are planting a tree into a pot. I'll let you know how that goes. The other thing is I planted the root ball about three inches up here so that it has sort of an incline on each side. And that is how you are recommended to plant trees when you are planting them either in the ground or in a pot like this. So I think we are all set. It just looks great. And I'm going to show you how this looks um, the long view here. So this pot is identical to the one we have our American ginkgo in and I think it just makes a real nice parallel structure as we go down the path here. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.